the skeletons of Disney Queen Skelling here? Skelling. <laughs> no, not that far into my obsession yet that I'd be naming myself his wife. Um, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome to another Chatting Skeletons. So, yeah, uh, yeah, this story is about, um, someone who was once very close to me, um, who unfortunately now is not. Um, I don't want to name names, so we'll... We'll call her Casey. I met Casey May of our freshman year. And we got startled because, well, we became friends because basically one of our friends startled us together and we just hugged each other and said, you know what, we're going to be best friends. And for a while we were. I mean, we were in um, a show choir together, which is like dancing and singing at the same time. Um, we were in it for about a year and I was friends with her from that freshman year to last year in April. Now, our friendship was really good. She was there for me through a lot of rough relationships, and of course we had our ups and downs, but back then we would really always, you know, try and patch things up. We'd give it about maybe a day or two to detox. We'd come back, talk about it, everything would be fine. You know, we didn't really want to talk about it when things were heated. A little while, after uh, uh, college started for us, about a year after college started for us. Um, of course, my mom and I moved, my mom and dad and I moved into this house here, our first ever um, house that, you know, we've been able to actually support ourselves, which has been really great for my parents because they've always had to have help from others. But this is the first house that they've ever like been able to get for themselves. And they were like stupid happy about it. And I was so proud of them. So she ended up moving in with us um, not long after we moved in because her parents got kicked out of their house um, for ridiculous reasons, I will add. But um, they were moving about two hours away. And of course, she had already built a life here and she really didn't want to leave that behind, which I really don't blame her. It's, it's hard to move once you've secured a life here. So... We invited her to move in with us on some conditions. She would pay rent, keep her room clean, you know, do some of the chores around the house, help me out, whatever it may be, and everything would be fine. First year was great. She would pay her rent, um, which we weren't even asking much. My parents were asking about $100 a paycheck, which, again, isn't really that much considering what most housing goes for here in California. Um, after the first year, things went downhill. She left her room messy. She wouldn't pay her rent, even though all she did was work and she would work long hours. And, you know, the fact that she wasn't giving any money to my parents really made all of us mad because we knew she had the money for it. She just wouldn't, you know, pay up. And she would always say, oh, it's my car insurance. It's my Disney pass. It's da 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 I'm all thinking, well, you can't maybe put the money aside. You can't kind of save it up. The whole thing was just utterly ridiculous. And the worst part was we'd get into fights and they would never get resolved. It was almost just passive aggressiveness for the final year of her living with me. It was funny because my parents would always tell me, oh, we're so close to kicking Casey out. And I'm like, well, why don't you just do that? And I even confronted my mom about it a couple times when she said, well, where would she go? She'd have nowhere to go. And I'm thinking, well, that's not our problem. And so I, you know, and she said, well, again, that Casey would have nowhere to go. And I said, well, that's not our problem. That's hers to figure out. It's not like we'd kick her out the next day. We'd give her time to find a place to live because it's just not working out here. And then, of course, you know, my parents would have zero come back towards that because they knew I was right, and they just didn't want to say anything. So, finally, after, you know, Harley Baby and I became closer, obviously, my friendship with KC grew apart. And it's it's sad, really. I mean, I loved being friends with her. Just, I guess, it's like my mom says, when you start living together... It just becomes harder. You find out who these people really are. And I mean, after a while, we let the dust settle after she moved out um, in April last year. And we talked for a little bit, but unfortunately, with how much 
fights we would get into, how complicated our situation was, I had to let her go because I felt like it was best for the both of us. Because, you know, I don't think she was getting the, maybe the proper reaction she wanted out of me. And I feel like she would have better friends to help her through that and all of that. But my own health was at risk. I was getting migraines. I was crying a lot. I got heart palpitations and it was horrible. So unfortunately, we aren't friends anymore. But the journey I had with her, I will say, was a a beautiful one. It was definitely a learning journey, much like my ex's. And the journey is that, you know, when you're friends with someone, they teach you so much. And if that friendship doesn't work out, you can always carry it on to the next friend that you have. And I did. I carried it on to Harley, baby. You know, she and I are fantastic friends. And I've learned. I learned what to do, what not to do. And, you know, sometimes I still mess up with Harley, baby. But in the three years that she and I have been friends, we've only really been in, I think, two fights from what I can remember. And even then, I don't even think it's two. But let this be a lesson to you guys as well. Um, Pick your roommates carefully. You may be best friends in the moment, but you never know what's going to happen when you move in with them. Even after being friends for nearly five years, it's just crazy what can happen. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Chatting Skeletons. I'll see you in the next podcast. Bye, little skeletons. Love you guys. Stay safe.